Hi, Steve here with Rank and File Forge. Uh, I'm working on my new video series for my YouTube channel. This is the first video. Um, this is going to be a multi part series. Um, the first project that we're going to be working on in our shop is working on an old 1949 Chevy, old Rusty, we call it. Um, pretty appropriate name. First thing we want to start doing is going through a uh, few things I want to do to upgrade for safety reasons, starting with replacing this gas tank, getting out of the cab. There's fumes that happen in the cabs, there's safety issues. I've got a little granddaughter now. I don't really want to take her in the cab when it's smelling like, uh, like fuel. So what we've decided to do was get a 1964 Mustang gas tank, put it in the box of the truck in the frame. This video is gonna start with the series that we actually mounted in the frame. The next series of videos are gonna be running the tubing, running the wiring, getting rid of the old gas tank, fill up the hole, and I think I'm gonna make a little box or a toolbox or something like that, leather line, I don't know, I'll figure something out. Um, gotta put on a bumper to protect the gas tank or some sort of protection. Don't know what I'm gonna do. We're gonna go through it together. We're gonna try and figure it out. Let's get at it. All right guys, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start lifting these planks. And my buddy Daryl's gonna help me from up top. I'll crawl underneath. Um, undo all these carriage bolts. If these carriage bolts break, no big deal, just chuck them out. Good to go, they're cheap, quarter inch uh, carriage bolts, not expensive. Uh, once we get it up, we're going to take these seven boards, middle boards out, keep the exterior, uh, outside boards because they're a little more work to mounting them. And, um, and number them through so that you can re exactly. reinstall the right way. So exactly. Can... I'd like to reuse the boards, so exactly like Daryl said, we're going to number the boards, keep them in order. Um, then we can get in there, we'll take a look at the cross brace here. I think we're going to have to delete that old spare tire cover, or carrier. We don't have spare tire anymore, maybe I should get one. I don't know what we but I should probably get one. But Got lots of room to mount. Got room to mount. Yeah. We'll figure it out. Um, how about it? Should we jump into it? Let's go. Okay. Let's get. Let's, let's get working. Let's switch to time lapse. So we just ran into our first problem. Pretty minor. These carriage bolts are spitting in the wood. We're unable to loosen them off there, so I guess I'm gonna to have to start maybe try to cut some heads off these bolts, see if I can salvage the wood. I hate to waste the wood. It's got a nice patina from sitting in the box for the past few years, but we'll do what we gotta do here. Do what we gotta do, we gotta get it off. That's exactly right. So do a little grinding, I guess. Do a little grinding, we'll jump back in a time lapse so you guys don't have to watch all that stuff, but uh Try a couple we'll, boards. We'll get it done. Yeah, we'll get don't it done. worry. We'll get it done. No fretting. Okay. <laughs> awesome. To do there because these bolts are all seized in. We actually ground a little straight notch. Use a straight screwdriver on there to hold it while I go underneath with a drill on slow. And I'll be honest, we tried it once. Snapped the bolt off. That's perfect. No problem. Get it Always done. Always replace, right? Exactly. So we'll go through. It'll save the board. Keep the boards looking good. And. Uh, now that we got a plan, we're going to jump to a time lapse and uh, make it happen. Let's go.
working. There's a pain in the butt. We got it. You can see the boards are kind of come up now. I'm going to try and uh, keep them all in uh, in order. I haven't pulled them up, but a little bit. It might need a little tap. This one's already breaking. Not a big deal. Um, one thing we never talked about that we did do is when we jacked it, we put some jack sets under the axle prevent. The last thing you want to do is have anybody get hurt working underneath. So um, there we go. It's coming. One for this first one. Oh, never mind. Oh, that's out. Yep. Came off? Yeah, it came off. Those bolts stayed in there, so yeah. we're gonna have to punch them out or something. But uh, before we do that, we're gonna give everything a clean up. I may shoot with a little bit of paint. Got it apart. Might as well paint it. Yeah. Tidy it up. I'm not doing any. This is not a show truck by any stretch of the imagination, but uh, have fun with it. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven. So we know which one is it, which, and we can. Uh, get them back on. Yeah, I'm gonna take these off the side. We're gonna punch out all these bolts. They kind of got seized in here. They just need a little bit of, a little bit of loving. And we'll uh, I'll pause. I'm gonna switch. Okay, what we gotta do? There's a spare tire brace here. Don't have spare tires, so we need to remove this brace. Um, got the wiring. When we did the wiring harness in here, it was done when I got it. Um, we're going to move it to another spot. I'm going to rejig it, put some holes, remount it. Got to cut this brace out here. So what I got to do is clip the wires, cut this out with a grinder, uh, remove it. Then we can start laying out some steel on mounting the tank. Let's go to time lapse again. I love time lapse. this brace out. Um, I did do a very nice job of it because eventually I'm going to be grinding these rivets out and removing it completely. Um, right now there's bolts that are on here that are holding the leaf spring. It's going to be another project. I got to straighten these out. These are kind of crooked. I'm not happy with them. Gonna change the bushings on this stuff. Can't see it but that'll be another video for another day. So I'm just going to leave it like this just to get my framework built so I can get the tank hung. And, uh, and you will eventually yeah. just Take it out to here. I'm gonna remove that in. I'm actually gonna remove this whole section that that's whole inside section. here. Okay. I'll reinforce it across here and I'll do something. Gotcha. But there's some rivets and right now it's all my leaf springs. It's another project for another day. I am not ready to <laughs> work on today with <laughs> gotta get some parts and stuff. One project at a time, but um yeah, we'll do some math and we'll see if we can figure something out. So we got uh let's see what kind of length we we'll need. I just want to check some measurements, see how square everything is. So we're just at six. So just kind of seeing what we're working with here. If we got it, you know what? Actually, it looks pretty square. Pretty happy. Doesn't look like there's been any accidents in this framework or anything. So, be able yeah. to just need level or yeah. nice and square curtain. Exactly. That's what I like. have to uh, check some measurements on the gas tank and the framework and see what I got to work with. Because what I'm going to do is put a 
one one inch square tubing across here, one inch square tubing across here. Have some braces so I can put the tank underneath. Um, I'm gonna eventually I'm gonna fit it up on top and eventually probably mount it underneath um, so I can remove it so I don't have to pull the box apart every time. Or if I ever want to change the gas tank again, but plan is that I don't. Um, cool. We'll see. There's a, a, a band that starts to kick up here, and I want to see if I can get the framework just before it goes up so I don't have to do too much fancy uh, cutting of that one inch tubing, but I think it'll be okay. So if I run something across there and there. So the band starts happening about the, from the end there to about the 24 inch mark. It starts to get a lot. Do you want to measure the center of this hole to the center of that hole? Yeah. Say 23 and three quarters ish. Works. It'll be good. It'll be good. It'll be tight. Yeah, it'll be tight. yeah it's fancy. Oh, yeah. Sure. That's not the best for here, right? Eh? You got it. Um, yeah, so I'll figure it out. I'll start measuring. I'm going to have to do some more uh, rejigging up some of this wiring and just cut these, these tie wraps or just the brake, no problem. So I'll just uh, fresh tie wraps. Tidy up, see if I can clean up this wiring altogether. There's a little wire here. Where does this wire go? I got a little bit of work to go. Old or rusty, there's always something to do. Yeah. Old there's always something to do. Old tennis. I think this was a, an old license plate light. Gotcha. And uh, because yeah. now that it's right there, I don't need the license plate light because I got the license plate light off the tail light. Comes down, shines on, keeps me legal. Gotta watch out for these cops. They're terrible. Um, cool. Okay, I'll get some steel. We're gonna get some measurements. We'll start doing a couple cuts, just to kind of get some pieces. We can t tack it in, clamp it in, and see what we can uh, see what we're working with. I'm gonna cut this tire up as you see. Here, you know what? I can add plenty of tire. Wraps. Tire wraps are cheap. Give you a little room to move over here. Yeah. Lots of wear. So now we're gonna cut some one inch steel. Let's get some measurements. Uh, I've seen a few different people do it different, differently on uh, online, trying to figure out what's gonna work for us because I wanna get a certain height for the nozzle, the, the filler. I want it basically flush with the boards and then I got my cap on top to, to fuel up. I don't want it too high, I don't want it too low. Um, maybe eventually, I think there's enough room that I could modify it and lower it down to uh, if I want to make a panel, make a lid or something like that. Uh, I've got room for future. Don't know what I want right now. So if I make two pieces, 46, man, to shave it off. But... So we'll cut some steel. And we cut our big pieces are cut. Cut our steel 46 inches. And then I how to slide this in without messing around. Mm -hmm. Gotta be a bugger, right? Yeah, yeah she oh. is. Probably a problem too. See, yeah, it's actually a little bit long. It's just uh, a doll hair short. They're too long. Too long. You know what? I can prop low to that. See, the frame goes in. Yeah. I'd never get it in that way. No. No. Learn something new. Okay. Let's get a marker. I'll give her a mark here. Something new. Figured the frame is. Curving in. Curving in, not the end of the world. Have a grinder, will work. One grinder, right behind you there. And uh, let's get the face shield. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. Thank <laughs> you. 
I'm going to have to cut that other one down a bit. Look at that. Now we're going. Now we're, now now we're cooking. Steel. Now we're cooking with steel. <laughs> cool. Okay. So we'll uh, trim off the other one this here. Guy? Got to cut maybe a quarter inch off it. And you said it was 23 and, 23 and 3 quarters. So what I want to do, this is the most, there we go, actually. So we're going to get a lucky on this. Maybe, baby. So I've done on the outer side to this, this side here, what mm -hmm. that is, that's just the same as your center center. Yeah. So you do the bolts and stuff. Just to, this feels like. Something's a little twisted. I don't know if mm -hmm. it's the original frame part or could very well be the frame. So, it does seem like it's doing this. You pass me the hammer? Yeah, the old farm trucks, that's what happens, right? Yeah, well, Should be yes. on the ground right by your phone. There we go. Thank you, guys. Sir? So I'm gonna... Yes. You can see I'm gonna have to try and get it. it's it's going off. Yeah. So old farm trucks are beating up pretty good. So. Oh, this, That's what this guy's been old rusty's done a lot of work in this thing though. Yeah. So I'm gonna have to try and uh, a few different ways and try and square it off and triangulate it and make sure everything's looking good. So this will probably be the closer to that. Where I am right now. So I still gotta go three quarters of an inch back. It's kind of right at the cusp of where it starts to curve. That's what she said. Yeah. Just kind of in between 23 and a half and 23 and three quarters. Okay. We've got a little bit of play. This is going to be a quarter inch bolt, 23, one inch piece here. So we should I think we can make that work. Not a problem. So right now we're about there right now. So. But I don't know if this is square. What am I squaring from? What right. looks square? This frame. This part looks good. I wonder if I should come off of this steel. You know what I mean? Because this is all suspension figured out and gas tank is really. Oh, you know what? I'm actually sitting pretty square from there. If we go from this, we got five to the side. And here we got five to the side. How's this one look? Look, looks off a little bit. This was added after the fact, but this one was added when they did the yeah when they did the suspension. Oh, you did? You yeah, I'm trying. It? I'm gonna try. And, I haven't placed that one though. Okay. So I'm gonna. I'm trying to figure which one to start with. Okay, this was maybe added that's after the fact. Awesome. The support for the floor. This is a little more. Squared off because this was part of a kit. 
this piece here. So mm -hmm. this is going off the bolts. I'm kind of figuring that some of the squares part, right? Is it? I don't know. What else do I go by? Geez, I don't know. Let's try this one at 51 and a half. Got 23 and just under three quarters. 23 and uh, a more. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't know if that's this part, this part, this part, this part. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It's all kind of a, a cluster biff. But if you look at this factory hole, got a hole lined up at the center of here. Yep. It lines up the same spot right there. Okay. So I think I think we're factory right holes here. I think we're and they're lined up with the factory holes here too. On the end there, yeah. Yep. Just, okay. Just, okay. I think it's there. I think the yep. box is crooked. Probably, Probably. Years, years of hauling. Hey, who knows? It may, it may have been an accident. Who knows? Mark, I know where to, to go in again. I can just give me an idea. <coughs> and I'm gonna be, I gotta put, pull it off. I got a little bit of grinding, mm -hmm. with blades. I gotta blending this there. I'll clean off some of the rust so we got some steel to, to weld it. Okay. Love it. Uh -huh. Cool. Okay, we're getting there. If you want to pass me, there should be a blending disc right in front of that little drill and then yeah. workbench. So, that's one of Yes, sir. Uh, no, there should be one other one by the, right in front of the drill. Oh, brand new one. Yeah, I'll put a brand new one on. Okay. I don't know, sir. Probably use a fresh zip next time, too. But. And what I want to do is we're going to start tacking, when we start tacking some of this stuff, before we weld it, then we'll double check everything, make sure everything's fit and everything's right. going to be good. Then we can uh, put it on. Put it on. Lay on the, the bead. Okay. I'm going to grab the shield, face shield. Grab okay, some steel we're going to try and clean the rest off. There we go. Watch your eyes. Okay. like that how deep do you have to go to get so you can get a good weld you just want to get some shiny metal some clean That's metal all. yeah it's, clean metal it's not a real big process getting it yeah really if you get that rust in there what you're doing you're getting like porosity and stuff and it's okay. going to be a it's going to look like popcorn okay and the, and the weld won't hold as well potentially it won't say it won't hold right. at all it may look like it's holding and then you drive down the road and it's right yes, around, it falls yes, around. Drops yeah, exactly you don't want that okay so it's not a 
it's not a great process taking it right, scraping layers and layers of no, uh, no, I'm just trying to get some bare metal, just a little bit of bare metal. Okay. And then when, when, now that it's bare, once it's welded, then we'll put a coat of paint, slap it on, yep. protect it, yep. try and prevent it. Good. I'll probably do a little bit of cleanup on this stuff. I got mm -hmm. some rust uh, inhibitor paint. Mm -hmm. uh, what's it called? Rust converter rate paint. Mm -hmm. That's gonna seal it up. Then we can put a black uh, splash of black on there to clean it up. I gotta get under here anyways to work the leaf springs. My yoke is leaking. I'll deal with that another day. Cool. So I'll I'm, do some uh, double I'm... checking. Um, I'll clean off this one. We'll double check. We'll square it off. We'll put a couple tacks on. We'll have to bring the well the welder over. So uh, okay. give us a minute. We'll get set up. So we got the one inch tubing tacked in place. I haven't welded it in yet or nothing. Um, we slid the tank in on top of the steel. We're trying to figure out placement of how we're gonna make this look. Um, what we got, I brought in a floorboard to kind of see how high it's gonna be. I've got uh, a filler. This is from a, a 1960 to 66 GMC truck. A filler, I got the new cap everything, LMC, thank you. Um, the gas tank is from Rock Auto, it's a 1964 to 68 uh, Mustang tank, I believe, 16 gallon. Um, so I'm trying to keep it clean, that last thing I do is get anything dropping in there. So I've got a hose coming, it was something that got missed on the order, it's coming, it should be here in a day or two. Um, I'm trying to get a feel of what it's gonna look like. I'm gonna be coming through the floor, I wanna be able to put a cap on here and I don't want it flush because I want to be able to cap it when we get it hung up on the board. The boards are twisting and stuff so I'm actually going to have about this much right from the lip above the steel. I don't haul anything in this truck and I don't plan on it so it's going to be no problem. But if I go here, I do have a hose that should be enough uh, for it or I can raise it up a bit higher. I want to see what it looks like from the back end. But, and that uh, hose that you were talking about, that is a gas rated hose that yeah. you're putting on there? Yeah, it's from uh, LMC as well as part of the kit. Um, I missed it. Missed the new order. Coming. <laughs> it happens. But uh, Canada Post. Oh, that's come from the states. Yeah, no, it's not Canada Post. It's uh, USPS. Oh, okay. United States Post. Yeah. Usually do pretty good. Manitoba Post Office is a little slower, but we'll get it. It'll come. I'm not in a rush. I'm not doing it today. Um, eventually, then I'll put another bar across. I want to center it this way. Put two more here. I just want to see what I need for height. I don't know if it's worthwhile putting. Uh, putting a uh, tubing on top of this one across, because this is sitting here nice, I can weld it up, put another piece here and get it up. Um, then I just have to figure out some bolt patterns and stuff. Not 100% sure what I'm gonna do, but I wanna double check the height. If I go up here, I mean, I can always raise the tank. I can cut this down a bit, not a huge deal. Um, I wanna see what it looks like. Let's see if I can see how low it's hanging. See, it hangs really low. Let's get the board on there, it's pretty low. I think I should be going up a little higher. I wonder if I should, just debating here, should I cut the tacks and maybe while it's at the top of the frame, I got wiring and stuff there, I'm not sure. Um, I can usually go up another inch, maybe two inches and it should be okay. So I'm kind of trying to figure this out, there's no science behind it, it's, it's hot rotting, right? I mean, exactly. Now Steve, what are you talking about down below here? Take a look. Too low. You see how this is the... I don't have a bumper, so this is all going to be wide open, and there's a big gap here. And I thought, I thought it'd be okay, but I think I need to get it up a little higher. That's what she said. Anyways, yeah. stop that, Steve. Yeah. Um, it's a respectable garage here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, because if it stays low like that, what what's the what's going to happen there? You're going to have uh, things uh, sitting on top of there, like dirt and everything else. Are you worried uh, about that? No, I'm not too worried about that. I think at this point it's going to be uh, aesthetics. I want to, you know, okay. it is, I guess you can, some people call it rat rod. I don't, I just call it unfinished. But if I get that higher, I mean, I, I should be able to get it. Here, I should take, if I go to there, I could probably get another two inches higher. That might be the way to do it. I've only tacked the steel, so this is why we tack the steel before we weld it. If I can get it higher up. That makes sense. Okay. What do you think? Yeah, well. 
So you, what do you want to do? How are you going to raise this bar? You want to put another piece of metal in there to raise it? No, I, what I'd probably do is the tack that I got on the inside, I can yep. cut the tack and then tack this to the top of the frame round. Just tack, the, okay. the bottom. Gotcha. You can see how twist this is anyway, so we can do better now. So if it's going to be higher then, what about the, your filler pipe and, and well, your, your, how I, is that going to factor in here? I mean, I can easily cut two inches off this without batting an eye. Okay. My hose will still connect, but I don't think I'll have to cut that much off. You can see I keep this covered. I don't want to drop stuff in my fuel tank. That's a... That's a no-no. That's a panic attack. For, yep. For you Steve over here, we don't want to do that. No, thank you. But, uh, okay, cover that up again. <laughs> yeah, if I put this here, and you can already see that I've got two and a half inches, two inch, two to two and a half inches of space for the hose. So if I raise two inches, I'm, I don't have to even cut this. So that might be the... The way to go. Now you'd still have to have that filler uh, rubber hose on there. Yeah, that's man. That's, that's going to be how we're. That's how we're going to transition from the GMC from part to the Mustang to the part. Mustang part, right? Yeah. Okay. But every day I've seen, well, the uh, I get a lot of positive response to using this gas tank, and I think I like it. I'm thinking pretty happy with it. I just need to get it a little higher. How many gallons? Sixteen gallons. 16 US gallons. US gallons, okay. And up here, that's about 60 liters, if I do my math correctly in my yep. head. Not even sure. So up here, that, that would be about $3,000 worth of gas. Just <laughs> a little shot at the, at our field market up here, but. Okay, so you have your 16 gallons of gas. How far does that take, Rusty? Uh, I don't know. This tank here, I can't fill it up. I haven't been able to fill it up. I get about halfway. And the way it is right now, uh, the vent tube is plugged, I believe. So when it's warm outside, actually the fuel comes out of the fuel cap, okay. the, the vent cap. So that's another thing. It eats up uh, sure. asphalt. It's a, it's a mess. Well, and it's and it's adding smell to your cab too. I'm, so you know, yeah, and that's about the granddaughter. I don't yeah, want. Yeah, we don't want her sniffing that up. I don't want her in my uh, my rig. I want to take her for drives. I don't want to poison her. Poison her exactly. So I mean. I could leave this frame here welded in, or I could break the tacks and tack it up here. I feel like I can get better weld when it's down here. If I made some more steel, get more steel, I could make a weld it up where I want it. Right? Let me just uh, just get a feel. I want to see what it looks like. A lot of uh, trial and error stuff that we're doing. What I want to do is just take this scrap piece of one-inch tubing and rest it on here just to kind of see what it's going to look like from behind. Am I making that much of a difference? Time will tell. Yeah. Yeah, it's going to crawl in here. Sorry. Okay, we uh, um, had a little problem. Battery died on the, on the camera, so we got that charged up now, so we're back, uh, back in business. While we're doing that, we took the one inch steel that we had tacked on lower on the frame. We actually ended up raising it to the top of the frame. It's just tacked in right now. You can see where we raised it up just to get a little more height because I felt it was too low. A little more uh, aesthetically, it's a little, a little better higher. And then what we did, um, we actually put the cross braces here to go this way so everything is supported on the perimeter. Just tacked in, we're gonna weld it up shortly. Um, the tank is in here tight hard to, uh, to get it out now so we're going to make provisions and try not uh, to burn up the tank it shouldn't be a problem lift it up whatever we got to do we'll figure it out um, and when you guys are looking in here you're going to see that it's tight here there's a little more of a gap here well this old truck box is all tweet twisted and tweaked and stuff like that so I'm trying to get you the out. gas tank is square to the get frame. You the gas tank is all square to the frame all Everything's fine, everything's happy. We've uh, clamped the one, one inch steel to the flange and then we centered it, got it all happy within the frame rails, within the box frame. So when we get um, the last floorboard in or the center floorboard in, it's gonna be, this is gonna be dead center. It's gonna look proper in the box. So a lot of measuring, a lot of remeasuring, making sure everything's right. Um, very happy with it. We're gonna lift it up, we're gonna tack, we're gonna finish welding all this up. We'll lift it up, we're gonna, we're gonna lay it all out, drill the holes, get it all bolted down. Um, I'd like to try and get some paint in here. Um, with the tank still being here, I don't know if I wanna paint the tank or not. It's already painted from the factory. 
So I may just get some POR15 and uh, clean it all up and try to make it last uh, as long as I can. Um, yeah, having said that, maybe we'll get into, we'll just weld it all up. Let's get it all nice and uh, permanent. And then I'll start drilling the holes. Time lapse. So we got the, the gas tank frame welded in now. We're starting to put some bolts in here. Basically just put a quarter inch bolt, drill through the flange. It's all supported. Um, our gas filler um, seems to be at a good height. This is the board, but this is where it's gonna be sitting. Um, it's sitting up just a bit above. If I decide I can always cut it down shorter and, and tighten it up, whatever, but I'm gonna start with this. So when I come through the floor, it'll be just sitting through, put my lock and gas cap on it, it should be good. Um, I gotta get more carriage bolts. We had to ax all those other ones out. Not a big deal. Um, I snuck in down there, it's pretty hard to get a camera in there, but I put the fuel sending switch in there. Um, problem with that fuel sending switch is it runs from like, I'm not sure, like 78 ohms down to 10 or something like that. And my Dolphin gauge is zero to 90. So it's either gonna read, I, I tested it out, it's gonna read when it's full, it's empty. When it's empty, it's full. So either I get used to that gauge or I come in with a universal unit through the top, which I'm not sure I want to drill into my gas tank at this point. So I'm just going to leave it as is, but uh, I'm going to drill some more holes, bolt up the, finish bolting up the gas tank. Um, I'm not going to tighten them up yet because I'm going to release all the bolts and then I'm going to do a little bit of touch up paint around there, kind of tighten it up, clean it up a bit. Um, don't need to get too fancy with the paint because the rest of it's all rusty. <laughs> Henceforth rusty, but uh, yeah, we'll start. Uh, we'll do some drilling. Um, let's see. Let's see what. Let's see how it works. I don't know if I need to do every hole. I know the Mustang had every hole, but uh, try it out. Two, two. I'll get those two. I can't get the ones underneath the frame, so that'll just have to be without. But. Try it, but 
Okay. That. So two more here. I'll get the two at the back. See if I can get them through here. Probably overkill, but that's what we do. So not bad. Wow. Custom Beautiful. fit 
I need to do a little bit of cleanup. A lot of dirt when we took off the boards all fell down into the to the ground. Sweep all that up. I gotta get new carriage bolts for the wood, put that all back together. I gotta tidy up my wiring. I gotta do a little bit of touch-up paint. I may unbolt this, do a little bit of paint, put it back in. Um, setting switches on, I gotta do, I gotta get fuel line. I gotta get, I extend the wiring on it. I should have wire, I should have everything I need for the wiring, but yeah. We're then, done. then I gotta drain the gas tank, get the old gas tank out. Then I got a patch panel for where that gas um, fuel filler is. Right. So I'm gonna remove that tack in a panel. I can weld it up. I can weld it up, should be pretty good. Okay. And then I'll put some brown, red prime around it to kind of match it blend up. it in a bit. Yep. I don't want to make it take away from the patina too much. Nice and solid, ain't going anywhere. It's a good height. I'm very happy with it. It's center to center, it's square. The rest of the truck isn't square, but the gas tank the is gas square. The gas tank is. Yeah. Um, I don't know. If, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, the big thing right now is uh, take a break, clean it up. We'll come back, we'll go shopping, do some parts, and then we'll do a part B. So until then, hang tight. As if we get back, get out of the shop and start doing some work. Start enjoying your time. Oh, gonna have to manually turn it off. Lost it. I lost the one thing. Should be the small button on the side. I don't know what we're doing.